Greetings, folks. Chris again, Gravity Well Nerf Mods. Yeah. Uh, just uh, bringing you the second part of Mission 1 for the BG Undead Summer Invitational for the mission Rescue the Hostages. So at this point, uh, the team that I was with have gotten to the point where we have found out where the hostages are being held at. That's the good news. The bad news is it's at the back end of a box okay. courtyard. So straight ahead of me, where the three buildings meet, is right where those hostages are at. And we do have the one key, but we have to find the proper combination to open up their shackles. And if we open up the wrong one, we will be triggering a witch. There are about five or six zombies, as well as a couple of boomers floating around. And this area is perfect for, you know, someone to not, being caught, not paying attention, and getting turned. So we have to be very, very careful of what we're doing. I got this. Got him. No, I got that right there was a perfect example of if you're not paying attention. Uh, that was a special zombie that they were calling a volatile, or sometimes we call them noodlers. That they, they can tag you with those pool noodles, just like they were tagging you with their hands. That particular one could only be tagged by socks, uh, the sock bombs that some of us carry, so it could not be stunned by, uh, you know, blasters and. Uh, you know, so again, that's why this area is so dangerous, is there's that one way in, and if you're not paying attention to what you're doing, uh, you will get caught. Um, it is getting pretty hot here out here. At this point in time, it's, uh, you know, midday, sun's been beating down on us, so we're all pretty hot. So while we're waiting for some of the other keys to show up, uh, I decided to take a little refuse in the shade, put my back up against the wall so I don't get jumped by uh, zombies, and uh, wait and see what happens. Me too. Live, live zombies coming in. Supposed to be on the mini games. So at this point, uh, our group kind of decided to, to get out of the box, uh, the, the box courtyard. Oh, 
um, we just really felt like we only had the one key. We weren't really wanting to, to try and unlock any of the hostages just yet. And we felt like that box, you know, courtyard was just a really bad place for us to be. So we pulled back and we thought we'll give it a little time and we'll go ahead and loop around. Maybe in the process draw some of those zombies out so we're not stuck in there with them. Um, give us a little bit of separation and uh, hopefully a little bit of chance to breathe. Um, and at the same time give some of the other teams time to bring back uh, some more of those keys. So here we actually did manage to link up with uh, a couple of the other teams and uh, make sure that you know they had some keys and uh, we decided to all kind of roll back into the box courtyard in mass. Um, that way we you know had the safety in numbers uh, going on. Um, at this point, uh, the, the starter zombies still really hadn't started. Uh, really hitting mob st status yet. They were just uh, a few here and there with a few boomers, but uh, still rolling in there with, you know, upwards of 5 to 1 odds was was still uh, pretty awesome and uh, probably the best way for us to roll in there. So, uh, yeah, we decided to, you know, roll in as a group and uh, start sorting out this key thing, grab the hostages. Now, the hostages all had to get brought back to the main start point um, and they had to have five people. So we had to get teams of five together once we find, got the, the hostages un, uh, unhooked from their shackles. Yo. 
that's not one of mine, so. And that right there is exactly what we were trying to avoid, was the uh, triggering of a witch. It's uh, basically an indestructible for about five seconds zombie. It will hit straight for one person it picks, and it cannot be stopped unless you can run faster than them. Uh, that particular team had unhooked a... Uh, we knew that that was kind of a roulette when uh, unhooking the hostages, that a couple of them were witches, so we were really hoping that we got the right ones the first time. And... Uh, Luckily, that group was uh, particularly loud in uh, running towards us so we didn't get uh, hit by something uh, when we weren't paying moderator. attention. God damn it! We are just not having any luck. That's the second witch we've triggered in a row. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, it's proven a lot more difficult to get these hostages unhooked than we originally expected. The good news is we think that those were the only two witches, so now it was just a matter of time of getting the right combination of keys to unlock the hostages. Where's he going? They're all with Matt. I got nothing. No, it's a, the QCR from Gavin Fuzzy. Yeah. Yeah, it's the. Yeah, no, this one I got. A guy was selling it stupid cheap at End War. <laughs> no, I did that. He actually, he, and it's actually modular. This actually will come out. It's got the battery tray that I could use if I really wanted to. Come on. Rumor's up. Or was. What the hell? Oh, they, I think they've got a hostage. Okay. A for effort on that one. We got you. 
So at this point, we actually kind of lucked out as uh, Buff Daddy uh, Nerf had come up with a couple of keys. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where he got them, but he did find them. So we decided to turn them in and try and get uh, a couple of these hostages unlocked. Uh, one got unlocked, um, so we need to get five people together. And it turns out he had the special uh, need is that he needed his hand held. Apparently, he would not move if you uh, if you didn't hold his hand. So uh, we tried to get a few people together to get that taken care of and get mobile. I don't think so. So we got four. We need one more. No, we need one more to escort. We don't need keys. We need we need people. We need to escort this guy. So, shall we? All right. Shit. In the process, though, we got interrupted by more witches and more zombies. So uh, we were not able to completely finish that particular, uh, or I should say, get uh, get moving as quick as we had wanted to. Um, I'm just having no luck with my blaster at the moment because I uh, that particular one uh, all of a sudden started, the rev trigger got stuck in the on position and was just screaming. Luckily, a couple of solid whacks got that uh, under control. Um, but in the chaos, it looks like someone else had gotten another uh, hostage unlocked. So we needed now to get another group of, t of five people together uh, to get him unlocked. So um, as we get this sorted out, we decide we're going to pull back, grab our hostages, because the time for this mission to get finished is uh, getting pretty close. We had about 10, 15 minutes left in this particular mission, so we needed to hurry if we were going to actually succeed at this mission. So it turns out this new hostage not only needed five people, but he also needed to feel safe. So he needed uh, something to feel safe, more like a sidearm. So uh, he needed one of us to cough up a sidearm, which uh, he didn't really need to use it. He just uh, needed one. So uh, at this point, uh, another batch got triggered, and uh, we decided that this was a great opportunity to take our hostage and get out of Dodge before anything else happened. Um, luckily, we got him back to the main spot with a minimal amount of fuss uh, and uh, so that is pretty much it for that mission we thank you for watching please like comment subscribe hit that bell icon uh, for all the notifications and uh, I will have mission two up as soon as I can catch you